In June 2020 I built an art gallery in Rust and put a few paintings up. These were done by hand, which I think has more charm to it than the automated ones. I left the doors of the building open, so people spawning on the beach or roaming around could take a look. I added details like notes for feedback, free water, instruments, and actually had some nice feedback. But my internet was down for a few days, so I didn't get to put more paintings up. A month later I tried again on a freshly wiped server, although it was about a day old. Both times I had used resources that a friend had gathered, so I felt bad that, for the second time in a row, the project was cut short, almost wasting the resources that had been invested into it. Players that already had AKs and flamethrowers set fire to it. A few of the paintings had been completed, and I think I did a good job with a couple of them, but I didn't record what they looked like because I didn't expect them to be vandalised only a couple of hours after making them. Almost everything was made of wood. I surveyed the damage afterwards. The paintings and some of the structure was burnt down. One of the players involved in destroying the paintings had an alternate account which had a cheating conviction, so I felt like there was no point in staying around there and left. It's not going to stop me from building a third gallery in future on another server. And I only did it in the first place to leave an impact on the players that visited it. That second gallery certainly had an impact if the players that visited it immediately wanted to destroy it. So I think the project was a relative success, and in a way it was nice getting an interesting little story out of it. <laughs>